Hi, I'm Peg Moline, editor of Fit Pregnancy Magazine. August is Breastfeeding Awareness Month, and we're here in Hollywood at the pump station with breastfeeding expert Corky Harvey, who's going to show you how to breastfeed successfully. I'm Corky Harvey. I'm the co-founder and owner of the pump station and nurturery, and I'm a board-certified lactation consultant. A deep latch is critical because not only will the baby get more milk if the baby's latched on deeply, but the mother will not have sore nipples. Sore nipples are not normal. The importance of a deep latch is that when a baby is latched on correctly, the mother's nipples will not get excessively sore, and the baby will be able to remove milk from the breast well because the jaws are positioned correctly over the areola. If we do these simple steps, most mothers can achieve a comfortable deep latch fairly quickly and easily. The most important first step is to get the baby's lower jaw to latch well behind the nipple, which involves tilting the little guy's head back. Because babies are born with a very recessed lower jaw, it's really tricky. Actually, as adults, we eat that way. If we have a fat sandwich, we've got to tip our head back and put our lower jaw on first, well into the sandwich, or we would just get nothing but a little bread and crust. So the baby must start with the lower jaw deeply on the breast first. So it's actually a two-point landing, lower jaw, then upper jaw. Something to remember is that a mom shouldn't lean forward and try to get her breast in a baby's mouth. Although it doesn't sound very much different, it is. We need to put a baby on the breast rather than a breast into the baby's mouth. We also wanna work at breast level rather than having to pick up the breast and the baby. Have the baby positioned in a way that it works at your breast level. We want moms to sit up straight and comfortable. We love to have a little backrest behind their back, even their feet up on a stool so their lap is lifted, and to be incredibly comfortable. Some moms might find it more comfortable to use a nursing pillow, although it isn't necessary, uh, and some moms can just use a bed pillow or nothing at all. Uh, I nursed three babies with no particular pillows because they weren't on the market in my time uh, and did just fine, but they can be really helpful. There are several different positions to nurse in. Uh, I find it easiest for moms to learn to latch on in football hold, but across the front works beautifully too. In the crook of your arm, not an easy way to learn because it's hard to tip the baby's head back and get the deep latch. So either what we call cross cradle hold or football hold are the easiest ways to learn. If a mother has a cesarean birth, football hold is much more comfortable than across the front. When a mother does a football hold with her baby, the baby will be at her side. She will hold the baby with the same hand as the breast she's using. When a mom does a cross cradle hold, she will put her baby to the left breast but hold the baby with her right arm. Once the baby's in proper position, in order to tilt the baby's head back, the mother needs to place her hand at the base of the baby's head with her thumb behind one ear and her fingers wrapped around the other. So the V of her hand formed between her thumb and first finger would be in the center of the baby's back. Allow the baby's head to fall back slightly by just pressing with the heel of your hand between the baby's shoulder blades. That just allows that baby's to, head to extend slightly and fall back. In order to tilt the baby's head back, mom will need to just bend her wrist back slightly. With the baby's head tipped back and the chin up, rest your nipple just above the baby's lip. With the nipple just above the baby's mouth and the head tilted back, it will allow the baby to open deeply to this point and then move up from the bottom. Wait now for the baby to open his mouth widely. This is called rooting. Most moms start their baby onto the breast when they just barely start to open. We need to wait until the baby is all the way open as if taking a bite out of an apple. If we don't allow that baby to open widely, he's gonna pivot from a forward point and just have the nipple in his mouth. We need the jaw to open all the way back to behind the areola. The baby needs to start his lower jaw well behind most women's areola. Areola can be a very different size, so at least think about the lower jaw starting well behind the base of the nipple. So many times the cause of soreness is that the baby has started right at the base of the nipple. The baby needs to have a great portion of the lower part of the breast in his mouth. Be very patient with yourself because this is a learned skill. Knowing when the right moment is, especially when the baby's in football hold and you can't really see that lower jaw going on, you just have to be patient as you learn. As the baby comes on, if the pain is less or not at all, you did it right. Allowing the baby's jaw to open widely is the most important part of this. The baby must start that lower jaw 